This is your host, Pastor Enoch Piri. Welcome to The Journey, a show where we profile prominent people who have made it against all odds. Today on the show, I am chatting to Winnie, one of the prominent actors in South Africa and Africa. Welcome to the show, my sister. Thank you. Thank you so much, Baba. You know, it's always a blessing having you here all the time. I'm always blessed being here. <laughs> Amen. You know, my sister, how did you get a break in your career? My big, big, big break came when I joined, obviously, Generation. Okay. But my first television role was before that. Mm -mm. Uh, you, you know, after graduating at, at Varsity, mm -mm. I was... I was blessed. I can't say I was lucky because now I know that I was yeah, blessed. Yeah, yeah. I immediately got a job. So when I finished my honors degree, I knew that January, you must pack your bags, go to the Northwest uh, Arts Council. That's why I was, uh, I was employed as a okay. permanent mm. uh, resident actress mm, mm, for the mm. council. So I worked there for two years. But I think me being Winnie, who always wants more, mm, mm, I, felt, mm. I felt like, okay, I've been here for two years. I've done shows here, only in this theatre here. I feel like life is passing me by mm, in Gauteng. Mm, mm. And being at that time, they just launched um, Backstage. Okay. And we felt, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that, that's beautiful. Mm. You know, the industry is growing and mm, we are stuck mm, here. Mm. So we decided to leave, me and my friends. We left uh, year 2000 to come to Joburg. Mm. Uh, from Northwest? From Northwest, okay. yes. Which was a totally different ball game now. We had to find agents and, you know, mm. go to auditions. I mean, I mean, when I was still at varsity, I went to this one audition for the Northwest Arts Council and I got it. Mm, mm. So now you're in Joburg, you come to auditions and they reject you. You go to another one. I mean, from, from January year 2000, I think I got my first job in October. Mm. Going to auditions though, like, I was thinking, okay, what is going on? Mm. Then my family will, will be busy saying, you can always come back and work in the office. Mm, mm, There's mm. a job for you. Mm. Like my mama didn't understand. Now you are unemployed. You are working for two years. Now suddenly you're saying you're going to auditions. What is going on? Mm. I also didn't understand it because, mm, mm. I mean, I was never prepared for something like that. Mm, I always mm. thought mm. when you go, you get. Absolutely. But I mean, that built me up as well. I mean, to understand the industry mm, also. Mm. But um, I started doing um, educational theater shows mm, mm. for this company that, that was called Arab at that time. We're doing... Uh, shows for school children, mm. educating them about life skills, HIV, AIDS, mm. all those kinds of things. Uh, I did that in the year 2001. I did that again, but it was this, then employed by another company that was doing industrial theatre shows, mm. like doing mostly the mines. So I was doing between those two companies, but also going to auditions for television shows. Mm. I think, mm. gee, there, it was just not happening until year 2003. I went to audition for Backstage. Okay. Yeah, so that was the first time mm. I, I saw myself on television. Wow, wow. I was playing a street kid, mm, mm. I was eating out of the dustbins. I was told by my sister that the very first episode, because they were all excited. Oh, yes, finally she's doing it. They told, they told me that my mom just cried. Mm. Wow. Like, was my child eating out of dustbins <laughs> in Germany? <laughs> I had to explain to her that no, Ma, she's just acting, it's not her. Yo, I can imagine. I can imagine the torture. No, my mom was thinking, oh my God, what are the neighbors going to say? They're going to say she is suffering in Joburg. Wow, wow. So we had to educate my parents again. That's wow. okay, it's just a role. Mm. Yeah, but then from there, then I got a role on, on Yesterday, okay. the movie yeah, that was yeah, the very yeah. first yes, one that yes. was nominated for yeah. the Academy, mm, mm, uh, for the Oscars there. Mm, mm. And yeah. I think then, then it started opening up, but then my big, big, big break came. Uh, then I received Jesus as Amen. my Lord and Savior wow. in wow. the year 2004. Wow, okay. Yes. Tell and me then more about I that. didn't know okay. that, ha, huh, now I must be prepared for a warfare. Mm. Then it became quiet, boom. I was like, I thought my life is supposed to shoot up. After receiving Jesus. After receiving Jesus, then it becomes boom, quiet. quiet. I don't know if I went through depression or what, but I lost so much weight. I was like this small. Mm. And then, but there were decisions that I had to make concerning my life mm, now. Mm, I mean, mm. I remember sitting and I would, I would make that decision that it's either I sit here and cry and feel sorry for myself or 
I become useful in the kingdom of God. Mm. I remember Dr. Creflo Dollar was visiting South Africa mm, mm, mm. and we were asked, those who have time, go prepare the dome. Wow. I went there, you know, as early as six in the morning. Mm. I was there cleaning the chairs and sorting everything out. Remember, some people are still recognizing me from backstage. I don't have a wow. car, I'm using wow. taxis. <laughs> but I was mm. like, you know what, it doesn't matter, it's okay. I'm here now for the kingdom, let me work. And then Dr. Miles Monroe was coming as well. I was there. Mm. And the things that they were saying, they were making sense. You know, I then got to understand how the, princ the principles of God work, mm. how the kingdom of God works. So then my break came. I mean, 2004, December, beginning of December. That's when I got a call that, because I'd been to auditions for generations, mm -mm. but they told me, you look too young for this role. Okay, so okay. I'm going to take somebody. But they liked me. So they said they're going to create a role for me. Wow. You know. Wow. So when I went and they wanted to see me for that role, so I got a call. My friend was like, what are you going to do for me? Because you just got this role. I remember I had one rent. Mm. So now I had to run. I'm deciding who am I going to call with this one rent. Mm. Mm. I ran to a phone booth. I called my sister because she was at the office. I was mm. just screaming. I was like, call me back. I mean, at that time they said, they're giving me just, it was a three month uh, contract. Mm, mm. But I knew, I knew that mm. this is what I've been wanting. Mm. For me, three months was just like, I've yeah, knocked and yeah, it's open. Yeah, yeah. I knew, mm. I knew I belong here. You know, wow. I mean, for the, f the first month I was shooting there, they already said, we're giving you a year. Wow. All I needed was just that opportunity for them mm. to open the door and let me come in. Mm, Whatever mm. I do inside, then I will show you, I will show you flames. Wow. <laughs> so that's how I got Generations. Mm. So my very first day on set, it was the day they were closing for December holidays. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> there I am excited. People are tired. People are like, when are we closing? When are we going home? It's a wrap. It must be a wrap. And I'm shooting the very last scene of the day. Mm. I'm mean, excited. And people are like excited that they are going on holiday for four weeks. <laughs> that whole festive season, I was like, when are we opening? Mm. When are we opening so that I can go work? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was, God was really showing mm. me that he can mm. turn a situation around for you. Wow, mm. wow. This is powerful. We're going to take a music break and when we come back more about the journey of winning. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I am in conversation with uh, Winnie. What a powerful story. You know, we serve a big God. Oh, you, know, yes. you know, one thing about God is able to take a person from nowhere to somewhere. Yes. Now, tell me, uh, what are you currently doing? So when, when I was uh, shooting with, 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 uh, um, with the show that I was working on, yeah, yeah. I decided... I always look for opportunities, man. Mm, mm, and I mm. mean, as, as actors, we were always complaining that why are we not getting recognized? Mm, you mm. know, you look at musicians, they get recognized throughout the year. There's your metros, the summers, there's the mm, mm. traditional uh, music awards, there's the gospel music awards, mm, there's, mm. there's so much. But we only had one, which was the South African Film and Television Awards. Mm, so mm, like, mm. You, my pastor liked saying, and he still says it now, that Inside the problem, there's an answer, right? Absolutely, there. absolutely. So I was like, okay, without well, we complaining, why don't we do our own awards? You know, mm. do it, Winnie. Instead of complaining that mm. you're not being recognized mm. 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 as an actor. I mean, if you don't get nominated for the subtitles, then you have to wait for the following year. I still mm. say even now, we still need more. We still need more because our industry is growing. Absolutely. So then, that's when the idea to launch the Royalty Sophie Awards came mm. from. Mm. Because I was like, there I'm sitting and I'm complaining, I'm doing nothing. Mm. Do mm. something about it. Mm. So I launched the awards. That's what I'm busy with right now. Mm. And um, me and my other uh, friend, we have been asked to be content producers. Mm. Yes. So we're working on so many materials because we also want to groom upcoming talent mm, mm. as well and give opportunity out there and also tell our stories we've got so much so many stories Absolutely. that we need to tell mm. in our own way you know so mm. yeah, i'm busy on just working on those projects uh, for the channel and mm -hmm. also working on the royal Sophia awards absolutely so you are plowing back 
Yes, it's important. Mm, mm. It's very, very important. I think that's a principle that even people who are non-Christians, mm. they've got it right. Absolutely. And they know that you have to give mm. in order to receive. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You, you know, um, when I look at you, I, I, I feel inspired, actually. Oh. I, I'm very much inspired and uh, I know that uh, God is yet to take you to higher places, to places oh. where you've never been to. Amen. And, and I just want maybe mm. if you can speak to a child out there, maybe this child lives in a rural area or in an urban area where they uh, scarce opportunities. What mm. is your encouragement? If, if I could make it, if I could do it, so can you. Nobody has the power to kill your dream but you. Mm, Don't absolutely. allow circumstances and situations to sway you. Mm. Focus on your vision. You will get it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, at any time, did you feel like giving up, especially after leaving Northwest, coming to Johannesburg, going to one audition, to I would another have those audition? thoughts. I mean, when you have not even a cent, you'd have those thoughts. But I think the vision is bigger. You know, this thing is like a calling. It's mm, bigger, mm, it's bigger mm. than that. I mean, I would just imagine myself in an office doing a <laughs> nine to five. Well, I would just imagine. And I, that's think you, dead. I think you'd be fired. Yeah. That's my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I was not going to survive. Yeah. I was not. Mm, mm, mm. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, here you are living a dream. Do you regret of not becoming a dentist or not becoming a nun? Not at all. <laughs> I could be a nun. I still could be a nun. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But I don't. I don't regret. Wow. I think. I think there's nothing as fulfilling as knowing that you are walking in the purpose of God. Mm, mm, you know, mm. uh, we cannot all be in a pulpit. Mm, but wow. wherever God places you, mm, mm, mm. make that your pulpit. Absolutely. I Absolutely. think the fact that He's put me up there. Mm, when mm. I speak to young girls, I have a passion for young girls. Mm. Because I, I feel they take, they, they get vulnerable and they mm. get taken advantage of. Mm. So when I speak to them, they listen. I think that's what, that's God's purpose for me. Mm. Powerful, powerful. I'm, I'm, I'm going to read a scripture, the new clause. Um, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, where the Bible says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Yes. So our Amen. parts have already been prepared Amen. by God. Yes. So I just yes. want to speak to you, my brother and my sister, that whatever situation where you find yourself now, remember that God has already prepared your greatness. Amen. Thank you very much, Thank Sister Winnie, for having you on our show. Thank you so much, sir, for having me. God bless you, Sissy. Thank you, Baba. Thank, Thank you very you. much for watching. God bless you and stay blessed.